welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to be having a look at the puzzle on the screen, which is called Tightly Packed, and it's by Kane Puzzles. Now, Kane Puzzles has appeared on the channel many times before, and their puzzles are always wonderful, so I'm looking forward to this one. But what I don't know, somewhat uh, worryingly, is how difficult it is. So you'll have to judge that by the length of the video, assuming that this ever makes it to being a video. Um, and I have been able to solve it. Um, now, do I have anything to tell you about today? I do, I do. I've got big news from Logic Masters India, where their annual competition, their annual puzzle and Sudoku competitions are either ongoing or about to be ongoing. And Prasanna Sasadri has been involved in um, creating the puzzles for those I know. And that's basically all you need to know, to know that if you have a go at them, they'll be extremely good. Um, so it, I think the Sudoku is called the Sudoku Mahabharat. And the puzzle competition is called Puzzle Ramayan, or Ramayan maybe, but I might have mispronounced those, and if I have, I apologise. Um, but those those competitions are now all online as well, so you can just go over to Logic Masters India. You don't even have to have a printer anymore. You used to always have to print the puzzles off, but now you can actually solve them online, which is rather wonderful. So definitely commend that to you. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention, actually, is that uh, I need to apologise, don't I? Those of you who tried the John Cage 4 minute 33 second puzzle that we did yesterday may have clicked on the link I put under the video and may have accidentally ended up watching some of Rick Astley's um, Never Gonna Give You Up. I apologise for Rick rolling you, but I couldn't really resist it. Um, I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> it was done in jest, I promise. Um, anyway, other than that, I don't have any news. Uh, well, other than to say well done to those patrons who've managed to get through uh, the Sudoku hunts that we've got over on Patreon. For February's reward, you've still got nine days to get your solutions in, and we have had way over a thousand correct entries, which is fabulous, because basically that means so many people have been enjoying their Sudokus over the last few days. So well done to all of you. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got to tell you. So let's get on with Tightly Packed, and I'll read you the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Along the thermometers, digits must increase from the bulb end. So let's have a look at this thermometer. That's telling us that, let's say this square is a two. This square has to be, it's like mercury would rise as the heat rises. So this square has to be higher than two. It doesn't have to be three. We can jump digits, but it just has to be higher. And that could be six and that could be eight. And I've realized that's not going to work because that's going to break the purple line. But if we ignore the purple line, that is an absolutely legitimate way of filling in a thermo. Now, the next bit of the rules tells us uh, why there's a problem with the purple line there. Each purple line must contain a set of non-repeating consecutive digits which can appear in any order. So that means that if we look at the purple line, let's imagine we worked out that square was a 6. Now, uh, one possibility, I guess, would be 5, 6. They don't have to be in order, so we could go 7 there and 8 there. 5, 6, 8, 7. And that would be a legitimate way of filling in. Yeah, that's actually already interesting. It would be a legitimate way of filling in the Renban line, but that's broken the thermo. Hmm. So there's definitely something going on with these sort of rectangular bits of interactions of thermos and Renbans. So I might start there when I start solving. Do have a go at the puzzle. The way to play is to click the link under the video. And now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Um, now let's, let's start here just for a second or two because I was having trouble. Yeah, okay, this is already quite, it's quite interesting, but I don't think it's too difficult to understand actually. If I, let's just put some numbers into this thermo. Let's make this thermo one, two, three, four. And I think the point is, we don't know that this is a one, two, three, four thermo, but we do know it is a thermo that steps up in gradient by one each time. Because if it didn't, this square would have to be higher than four. And the moment this is any higher than four, the Remban breaks. Let's make that a five. What are we going to put to make this a consecutive sequence of digits? It, we can't do it anymore. We'd need an extra cell on the Renban. So that's, that's immediately interesting. So this is, 
We don't know though, do we? Yeah, let me just, I, I convinced myself. I mean, it is true, isn't it? Whatever we start with here, we have to go up in steps of one in order to preserve the sanctity of the Renban. And in fact, because the Renban needs to contain the digits that are on the thermo, it itself becomes a thermo. Oh, that's so peculiar. <laughs> that's absolutely mental. So when you connect a four cell thermo with a four cell Renban, the Renban turns into a thermo. Because look, that has to go four, five, six, seven. There's no other way of doing it. And because of the nature of the thermo geometry, it sort of it, it pushes this into being into being a consecutive sequence. And that's so interesting because if if on the other hand this Renban was represented as a thermo, so imagine that purple line is not a purple line, but it's a grey line leading out of the bulb to here, that constraint wouldn't work at all because I mean if that's a one, that could still be a nine. And you could just fill in any old digits on the, on the on the thermo and any old digits down here, and you wouldn't get anything like the the potency that arises from making this a Renban um, that turns into a thermo. I love that. That's really clever. But 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 that doesn't really or does it help us solve the puzzle? Because then we've got. So we've got, I can see we've got these rectangular arrangements. We've got three of them and nearly got four of them. This one is a bit different. Yeah, so let's just try this one down here. If that's a one, I can see this can't go up in steps of one anymore. So it doesn't operate like it's friends. Oh no, it can. Sorry, sorry. I was thinking that's going to break the REM band because these two are only... These are only one apart. But I was assuming the Renban was going to work like a thermo, which of course it doesn't have to. So if this is a one, that would be a two, and then that would be a four. But I suspect if I choose a different digit than one here, I don't get nearly that sort of constraint. So let's make that a seven, and that a six. Now I do have to put six on here. But then I have a choice of digit here. This could be four or eight. Yeah, okay. Is that right? I think it is right. So I think this little, this little um, sort of trapezium down here is much less interesting than the rectangles. So how do we actually make any progress to solve the puzzle? Sorry, I need to just... Uh, reseat myself now. Let us think. What do we know about the puzzle? I know nothing. I know nothing. As Forty Towers, I know nothing, Mr. Forty. You did win that money. You did. You did give me that money, Mr. Forty. You won it on that horse. Oh, that's one of the great episodes of comedy ever. The Major and uh, Manuel and Faulty Towers. Oh, anyway, I'm getting I'm getting um, sidetracked. How do we solve this puzzle? We have got to solve the puzzle by um, oh, I'm totally distracted now. Let me fill this thermo in again. This thermo is the key. One, two, three, four, and then that becomes one, two, three, four. Ah, ah, that's it. I see. Right. So that's going to put a digit on one of the other rectangles. Now, and we know, ah, y yes, oh. Yes, I understand. Oh my goodness, this is wrong. Well, it's not wrong. This, I can tell you with some certainty that this circle is not one. This is beautiful. Good grief. Because, bear in mind, what we've worked out from our sort of due diligence here is that this arrangement, this specific rectangular arrangement, turns your Renban into a thermo. 
So, where does the 2 go in, these, in this string of digits? Bearing in mind it's being turned into a thermo. Well, if it goes anywhere down here, any, in either of those cells, let's put it here, for example, we know that's going to have to go 3, 4, 5, because, because it does, because that's the nature of connecting these two digits up with a Renban line when, when you've got them joined by a thermo as well. And that, of course, is going to give you a problem in this column. And even if you try and put the 2, 1 higher, that's got to have to be a 3. Oopsie, misclick, lost my army. This, this, this 3, 4 pair always gives us a problem. Oh, this is, yeah, this is so clever. This is so clever because now I'm appreciating. Yeah, look at the way the REM bands are folding. They're folding 90 degrees each time. From here, 90 degree fold, down to the bottom of the grid here, 90 degree fold. So that tells us that this is where we should start, not here. We should start here and we're going to be working... Um, yeah, the, you see that what we've learned is the two is going to go high up on the thermo here. So we're going to be dropping down. We're going down into the nether regions. We're descending into the depths of hell as we come. So this this rectangle has high digits on it is what I think we're learning. Let me just try and prove this. Now, do we prove this using numbers or do we do colors? I think I understand this now. So I'm going to try and do it with colors. So let's make that yellow. We'll make that, oh, these are the big decisions in life. We'll make that blue, that orange, and that green. And we know that this thermo has to increase. So we know exactly now that whatever it turns out blue is, blue is one more than yellow. And orange is one more than blue, and green is one more than orange. And we now know that blue and orange have to fill, go on the REM band because of the work we've done before, so that's forced. And now you can see that what happens here is that it's the blue digit that gets forced onto the REM band over here. Now the blue digit is one less than the orange and the green digit, so we can't put blue in either of those squares because this operates like a thermo. So if we were to put blue there, this square would have to be an orange and it would clash. So it doesn't do that. So the blue goes in the, the sort of the dog leg of the, of, of the Renban, which means that this cell, which is one less than blue, is yellow. This cell is an unknown color, which I will make red. And this square is one more than blue, which is orange. And now this thermo, we know that that must be yellow because it's one more than red and this must be blue because it's one more than yellow. And now, and now yellow is the digit that has to appear down here and for exactly the same reasons we can't put yellow in this domino because that will result in orange or blue above it seeing this orange blue pair. So yellow goes here which means that's red that's some new color which we shall have to make purple maybe i haven't used purple yet so this is purple the digit above yellow is blue now uh yellow and red must be on the thermo so red must drop there which should imply red is one greater than purple which it is by definition so that's yellow <laughs> and now so now we get a red digit on this one. But this one was not constrained in the same way, was it? This one had lots of options. I don't think, I think what we found out before is that red or whatever the digit was in here this this didn't have to operate like a thermo. I think I, I worked out I could have put an eight in on in that cell when I had sort of um, five six seven around it. So that's not operating necessarily like a thermo, and that's annoying. So we must be able to do something with the cells we've already got. Yes, we can. Where does yes we can? Where does yellow go in box two there? by Sudoku.
Where does red, this is, this is so clever. Where does red go in box two? It goes there by Sudoku. Um, now, okay, now I'm getting stuck again. What does that mean? Can you put, no, you can't. Good grief. This is, this is one of these puzzles that just makes you gasp. Where does blue go in box seven? Now, we might have thought blue could go here, but blue, that's on a Renban as well as a Thermo. And we know that the digit that is one that's consecutive and one lower than blue is yellow. And the yellow is already in the box, so that can't be blue. And blue hides in the corner. And that almost deserves a song. <sighs> That's blue in the corner. <laughs> it's blue in the spotlight, losing its religion. Um, blue is in one of those two cells. Oh! Wait. Oh! Hang on, hang on a minute. Oh, this is this is this is quite something else. This this is one of the most this is one of the most brilliant things I have ever seen on cracking the cryptic. Look, look at this this um, column and this row. Yellow. Well, actually, it probably only matters for yellow. It only matters for yellow. I'd, I saw it by thinking about blue, but I think it only matters for yellow. Because, let's, yes, let's focus on yellow. Yellow cannot go on that Remban. And that is hugely powerful because I know there is red on the Renban. And the next highest digit up from red is yellow. So if you can't put yellow on the Renban, this Renban is red and then, and then, purple purple must be on it because it must be red purple and then two lower digits which i've not i've not ascribed colors to yet so there, this is this is absolutely it's balmy but brilliant so now now i know this remban has red on it but no higher digit than red so it must have hmm is that right that it must have purple on it? Yes, it is right. It must have purple on it because it, yes, it is. It is because now I don't care that I couldn't force it to be a thermo before. I still don't know if it has thermo properties in terms of how it steps up from the bulb. But I do know exactly what's on it. It's got to have purple on it somewhere and it's got to have two more colours that are lower than purple. So I've got to give those... Yeah, I've got to have to colour this in a bit more. So I'm and I have run out of nice colours. I'm going to have to use black, I think, which I know people don't like. And and then I'm going to have to use grey. Which oh, yeah, I can actually see the grey though against the thermo. So I hope that's okay. We might be able to 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 deal with this though. Let me just think about it. We've got so this. Well, I, ca I can't put red in the thermo bulb because because that would be implying that there's a higher digit on the ren band than red, and we know red is the highest digit on the ren band because it can't have a yellow on it. So that is not red. I'm not sure it can be purple either. No, it can't be purple because purple is one less than red. So although I could make that red in theory, this square has to be. If this is purple, this has to be, by definition, a lower digit than purple because of the Renban property. And that won't work. So that's not purple. This is a low digit. And there's, you're right, there's not enough. Hang on. That's a low digit. My instincts are telling me this has to be purple now. If if this was the digit that's if we th yeah if we think about this uh, this sequence of digits as being one two three and four I think it's more obvious. Let me just um, we don't know the order though, but we do know that this square here has to be a one or a two, 
if, if we're saying that this is a 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruple, this has to be 1 or 2, um, because this cannot be higher than 4. So that has to be 2 or 3, and that has to be 3 or 4, which means it has to be 3, because we know that the 4 must be the red digit, because that's the highest digit by definition on the Renban. Yes, so what we what we need to do here actually is slightly different, isn't it? We need to we need to actually specify grey and black because I think we can. Because what we yeah, what we can't do is say because we know that this Remban is stepping down by one each time. So red is its highest digit, then purple, then another digit which is either black or grey will make it uh black. And then we'll say grey is the lowest digit on this Renban. Now, if grey is the lowest digit on the Renban, what we, what we now know is that this is grey. We know that there must be a digit between this, between this digit grey and this digit. So this cannot be black because there is no digit between black and grey by definition because of the Renban. So that is pink or purple. That is black. Um, now, hang on a minute. Now, there's got to be a red on my Renban. What have I now? What have I now put on the Renban, and what have I not put on the Renban? I've put grey on the Renban. I've not put black on the Renban. And black should be on the Renban. So black must go there, and that cell there must be red. And that is another bit of colouring done. And also, I'm now. I'm now noticing that we have descended quite some distance into the depths of hell, I think, because whatever that digit is, we went down to orange, down to blue, down to yellow. Yellow went down to red, red went down to purple, purple went down to black, and black went down to grey. <laughs> so, so if that was nine, hang on, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, ah, two, ah, oh, you rotten thing, you rotten thing. So actually, we don't know what green, well, we know green is nine or eight then, because that can't be less than one. So it, in fact, this is weird. So because whatever, whatever that is, it's, and it's nine or eight, we, we're always stepping down in units of one every time. So if that is 9, we know that that's a 2. And if that's an 8, we know that's a 1. And we would step down, because we're stepping down by 1 every time. So we can fill in some things here, I think. Um, that must be like this. Blues are 6 and 7. Yellow, it then goes down to yellow. So yellow is 5 or 6. Red is the next lowest digit, so that's four or five. Then we must go down to three or four. Then we must go down to two or three, and then we must go down to one or two. And now I think we're gonna have to do Sudoku to make more progress. Yes, I can do more Sudoku. Where does red go in box three? It's got to go there. So that's a four or a five. Oh, no. Um, um, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? That means that we should ask the question... I don't know. I have no idea what I'm meant to do now. How do we make more progress? We've got to... It must be Sudoku. So what have we not done Sudoku-wise? Ah, okay. Well, that's a bit tricky, but we can do that. Look, we've got yellow, blue, orange here. Yellow, blue, orange here. So yellow, blue, orange are ruled out of those squares in box six. So that is, of all things, a yellow, blue, orange triple. 
Um, hmm. <laughs> I rather thought that would do something more than that. Oh, good grief. Um, I can see loads of like dominoes, like I can see blues in one of those two places. I'm really struggling to see how we can improve this by very much at all, to be honest. How do we make more progress here? We shall argue that Um, sorry, I know I should be able to do better than this, and I, <laughs> I don't see how, what are we meant to do? We've got nothing, well, I've got tiny little rembands and thermos, which look to me like disambiguating creatures, creatures that Kane Puzzles has left in the puzzle to deal with ambiguity arising at the very end. So it must have... There's no way I know, is there, whether this is a high, like a 9 or an 8. I don't think I could have known. I've got a feeling maybe I could have done something more with this. Grey is in one of those cells, so Grey's in one of these two cells. The black digit is in one of those two cells. Um, orange is uh, <laughs> oh no um, red can only go in one of two places in row four one of which is on the ren ban is there a reason red can't go on? If red's, I suppose there might be. If red's on the ren ban, if red's there, that digit is consecutive with red because it's on the ren ban. And the consecutive digits with red are yellow. Yellow is higher, so and that can't be yellow. Okay, so that... But so this would have to be a lower digit. Oh, it have to be. It can't be purple. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Well, that's interesting. So this can't be red, I don't think, because if it is red, this digit has to be consecutive. Yellow is is consecutive with red, but not possible to place in this square. And purple would be in one of those squares, so also not possible to place in this square. So that is not red. So red in this row is there. And that square is a four or a five. Um, so maybe that's what we've got to do. We've got to think about. So I'm now wondering whether this square can really be blue because blue in blue in box five is in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Now, if blue is here, this cell has to be consecutive with blue, which is yellow, which it can't be, or orange, which it can't be. Good grief. So this square is that square is can't be blue. That's got to be blue, which means that's not blue, which means that's a six or a seven. So red Red in the central box now is in one of these two cells. Blue can't be on. Yeah, okay. No, I think I've I think I've missed a trick here. I think it's this Remban line. This is quite extraordinary, but I can see now it can't be green. And if it can't be green, isn't that really Isn't that telling us there's no high digit on this Remban line? Because if it green green can't go there, and green in box eight is in one of those cells, so it can't go here. So green is not on this Remban line. Now if green is a nine, that means that this is not an eight-nine pair. 
And if green is an 8, you can't put 9 on the Remban line. Because you can't put 8 on it. So, I sort of want to say that this has got to have lower digits on it. Now, it can't have green on it. The next lowest digit is orange, which it can't have on it for exactly the same reason, actually. Orange is going to be in one of those cells, so therefore orange sees both of those cells. It can't have blue on it, which is the next lowest digit. It can't have yellow on it, because yellow sees both sides of the ren ban. It can't have red on it, because I've already looked at red, and I think red's in that domino. So yeah, it can't, red sees both sides of it, so it's not red on the ren ban. And the next digit is purple. Now purple can't go there. Can it go here? So if that's purple, this has to be consecutive with purple. It can't be red, so this would have to be this would have to be purple, and this would have to be the digit that's lower than purple, which is black, and that's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible because black is in one of those three cells in row five by Sudoku, seeing that cell. So purple black doesn't work. So if I can't put purple on the Remban. I'm looking at black grey as the next option. And we know black can't go in those squares because there's a black over here. So this has to be black here and grey here. Now what's wrong with that? That's not possible. That's not, that doesn't work either. Because if that's the arrangement, I now can't put grey in this row, can I? I've got to put grey in row four somewhere. This grey rules out those two. That grey rules out that one, but also in box three, I've got to put a grey in there, so that's not grey. So you can't put, that doesn't work, you can't put grey in row four. So this, this, so now I've ruled out everything apart from, yeah, this is it, this is it, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. We've ruled out every specified colour combination from being on this one cell Remban line. So the only thing remaining is a low digit below that one. And so this, this Remban is a gray, it's that one, and a digit that is lower than gray, which I have never colored in in the puzzle. But that's the only way that Remban line could be filled. And that is beautiful because it tells us that that square is a two. So we go two, three, everything is, oh, hang on. Every, ah, 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 no, what on earth have I done there? Everything where it has an option, we have to pick the higher digit. Let's try and do this in a manner that suggests I have any competence at all about solving Sudoku. So six, six, seven, seven, seven. Pick the high digit, pick the high digit, pick the high digit, pick the high digit. Nori, nori, seven, seven, eight, 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 seven, seven, six, six, five, five, nine, five. Now this is looking better. Now this is a one-two pair. This is a six, seven, eight triple. And this is an absolutely beautiful puzzle. My goodness me. Um, where does two go in this column? That's a good question. It's got to go there. That gives me the two and the one. I can now shade in that one. That's gray. The one, the one might have to be unshaded because I've run out of colours, unless I go light grey, like that one, which I don't like using because I can't really see it. Um, so maybe we'll try and get by without shading our ones. We'll shade our twos though. Um, now, what's the bottom domino here then? One and nine, ah, oh, that's annoying. One and nine. Um, Okay, <laughs> okay, now we're going to be called upon to do Sudoku, and that's never a good thing. Um, where is the obvious? Okay, those squares are a one nine pair, actually, aren't they, as well? I can see that in this box, which means these two squares should be a three four pair, which means that three four, we're looking for five six, oh, eight nine, so eight nine must be there. And that must be five six to complete box number five, 
which means that these cells have got to be a 1, 3, 4 triple. That's not a 3, and that's not a 4. Therefore, those squares are 2, 8, and 9 in some order. This square is a 3 or a 4. Oh, these squares are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Some of the... Oh, that can't be 1 because it's high up on a thermo. When I say high up, I mean it's one cell along a thermo. So that cell's got to be lower than that, so it's got to be a 1, 2, or a 3. Um, okay. Is this now resolved somehow in a manner which I can't tell? We've got... Uh, what have we got along here? Threes? We can get rid of two from that cell. One, four, eight, and nine into... Oh, that's no use at all. So these squares have got to be... 1, 8, or 9. I suppose, yes, the question I can ask is where does 4 go in this row? It seems to have to go there. So that becomes a 1, 3. That becomes a 1, 9. I still haven't got a clue what to do here. 2 and 3. Oh. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry, I was forgetting. Look, this is a Renban. Yeah, that this is interesting. This is a Renban as well as being a Thermo. So, yes, yeah, so how can we fill this in? It can't be 8 and 9, because that's going to force that square to be a double 1. So it's not 8 and 9, so it's low digits we need. So we're looking to take... One, one is here, so it's in the only two and three. I think that's the only digits we can put on this thermo. Might, let me just double check that. It can't be an eight nine pair. So it's got to be. So we've got to, got to be selecting from the digits one, two, and three. And I think there's a one in one of those squares. So we are selecting from three and two, and it must look like that, which gets us a one here, a three here, a one here, and a nine here. Aha. Therefore, this cell is an 8 or a 9. This column, perhaps, one, oh, 1s, 2s, 3s, and 9s. It's still resisting slightly, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 9 there. This square's a 3 or a 9. Don't know if that's resolved. And that square's 1, 2, or 9. Ah. Um... <laughs> oh, two here is seeing that eight. That's good, because I was wondering what, how we were going to make more progress. So that becomes a nine. That becomes a one eight pair. These squares become four and seven, which might not be resolved. And those squares become six and eight, which also might not be resolved. And why is my... Oh, I've got a six, seven, eight triple here now. So in this column, I, re I need ones, fours, sevens, and nines. So these squares are from 1, 4, and 9. That one can't be a 9, look. That one can't be... No, it's still not done. It's, it really isn't. 6, 7, 8, 1, 4, 7, 9. So it must be this one then, is it? Something about these tiny little thermos and ren bands is going to be resolvable oh right okay yeah this is very clever good grief that can't be a one because if it's a one this square can't be a one because it's on a renban and that square can't be a one by sudoku so that's not a one and therefore that's not a two so now i've got a three four pair so this is a one two pair and now this can't be a 2 either for the same reason. Good grief, this can't be a 2 because that would have to be a 1 and that would have to be a 1 as well because these can't, we can't repeat a number on a ren band. So that's a 3 which fixes the 4 and the 3 which fixes the 3 and the 4. Now this has to be, oh it does everything. Two tiny little glues. That's now a 2 to be consecutive with, which must go with 1. This is not 2 or 3 now because it sees both. Oh, come on, there must be some... Have I made a mistake down here? This must be resolved somehow, isn't it? 
Oh, three comes out of there, yeah. Nine goes there, one goes here, that's therefore a two. Nine goes here, eight goes here, eight goes here, come on. What a puzzle this is. What a puzzle. This, I mean, we have done some incredible puzzles on Cracking the Cryptic recently, and this is right up there. Uh, one, five there, yes, five and one, and one and eight go into the grid. So those two squares are a three, four pair, which I can do. This box up here needs two, four, eight, and nine. So this is a two, this is a nine. That's an eight, and that's a four. Now that's a four by Sudoku. Four, one, nine, one, four, seven, seven, six, six, eight. And we're looking for two, three, and nine. So three. Nine, two, please. No, oh, what have I done wrong there? What have I done wrong there? I don't know. Did I just... Oh, now yeah, I've got two threes in this column. That's what I've done wrong there. Okay, that's all right. No, it's not all right. That's really wrong. That's really badly wrong. So I've, I've made a ricket there somehow. Let me just check over here. I've got to put four in there. Now I, I use that to place four up here. I've, I did have a horrible feeling that I was making a mistake. I'm just going to go more slowly down here. Six, seven, seven, four, one, one, nine. This becomes a four. And now I can't put a three in this box anymore. I need to put a three over here. It needs to be there. I've got two fours in this column. That's not good. Why have I got two fours there? It's because... It's because I miss I miss pencil mark this column, didn't I? I've remembered. I, I saw the six, seven, eight. I saw the two and the five. And then somehow... I don't like what I've put into the balance of that column just don't like it. The 6, 7, 8 resolves this as a 4. That's a 7. That's a 7. That's a 6. That's a 6. That's an 8. This is a 1 or a 9 and I've not used that clue so I'm happy with that. Now I've got to be just make sure I put 3 into this column and not be silly. So 1, 9. This is a 3. This is a 1. That's a 9. This is 2, 4, and 9, and that means that's a 2, that's a 9, that's a 4, that's a 4, and that's an 8. And that presumably is right this time. Phew. Oh, almost had a ricket. So I think the mistake there was my pencil marking of this column, which was ludicrously bad. But I didn't use that in anything that happened over this side, apart from at the very end, which I then obviously failed to fill in correctly. So I hope you'll forgive me for that. Uh, I don't really forgive myself because I always feel I slightly spoil what is, you know, just this spotless Mona Lisa like canvas that Kane Puzzles has has prepared for us and I've sort of just doodled on it a little bit at the end and now I'm sort of rubbing out my doodle to make it look pretty again. I, sh I suppose what I could do as well just to please some people because you do like me to colour in everything um, if I can and why, why wouldn't I when I have that opportunity. Threes are the black digits, fives were the red digits I think and sixes were yellow and sevens were something else blue. There we go. I think it's still correct. Still correct. Yeah. What a puzzle. Fan fantastic. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I certainly enjoyed solving it. One of the best we've seen in recent times, and that is saying quite something. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.